Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here today for another Sample Saturday. I've been using up as many samples as I can, trying to catch up a little bit. I feel like some of my samples are maybe a little more boring. So let me know if you find them boring or not. Uh, and let me know if you've been using your samples. Let me know if this encourages you to use your samples because that's really like my goal. Um, one, to keep myself accountable for actually using samples, and two, to hopefully inspire you to use your samples as well. We're gonna start with like four samples in one. I got shampoos and conditioners. I have two of the Matrix conditioner, and this is the Total Results So Long Damage. I really like Matrix shampoos and conditioners. The volumizing one was my favorite for a very long time, like my favorite shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used it on a regular basis for quite a while though. Uh, I used to buy a liter of it several times a year, but I haven't done that for a while because I've been testing out, you know, less expensive ones, which I think actually are probably more expensive because I always got the liters on sale. Anyway, I do like these and I should probably look into getting a full size uh, liter of the So Long Damage because I think it would be a good conditioner for me to have. Then we have two shampoos. I had this random one that I think one of my parents must have picked up and I cleaned it out of their closet, um, their cupboard. Anyway, it is from Americ and it's just a bamboo lime conditioner. I did not get bamboo or lime in this conditioner or in this shampoo, not conditioner, it's the shampoo. Nah, it's just a regular, it was fine. It was a very kind of thin consistency. It, it worked fine and gave me what I needed so that I could use up my conditioner that didn't have a matching shampoo. This is the matching shampoo for Matrix, and I really liked this one too, so this is another leader that I should probably look into getting probably next year, because I did, I have purchased quite a few shampoos, so I have a few months worth of shampoos saved up, and then I will look into getting this. I think there will have some sales coming up in the new year. Next up, we have a sample. This is Skylar Vanilla Sky. It's an EDT. I like this uh, fragrance quite a bit. It's a nice scent. I did use almost an entire uh, vial of this though, just on one use because it is a very light scent and I felt like I needed a lot of it to really even get a whiff of it as I was wearing it. It's really pretty. It's kind of a classic vanilla, maybe a little underlying fruit in there. It's definitely one that I would consider purchasing because I could see myself wearing it, but it would need to be on a major sale and it's, I don't think it's a good enough value to redeem my scent certificate for it, but it was nice. I know that it is like a cruelty free one if I remember right. And which is nice, but I found the one drawback I had to this was that it was so short lived. And so I was spraying a lot of it in the first place and then it disappeared after about three hours or so. I couldn't smell it at all. I'm even having a little hard time smelling it right now. I feel like I need to kind of spray the rest of this on, but I already have perfume so I can, you know. It's a very nice scent. It's it's one that I think is worth trying out. I like this better than some of the other Skylar scents that I have tried, but I don't know if it's worth the investment in the price for the full size, just because of how short-lived it is and how much you have to spray to get it to smell in the first place. All right, we have one of my, we used to be my, one of my favorite moisturizers. I feel like, I don't know if it's my skin or if this was just not it's the time of the year I'm using it. This is the Glam Glow Nude Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. So it does have a slight sheen to it, which is fine because I always put on like a primer and a mascara, not a mascara, foundation on over it. So I really don't notice the glow to it or not. Um, I like the scent of it. It has like a nice creamsicle type of scent to it. But this time my face was so dry and I could tell that it was so dry. Like by midday, my skin just looked so dehydrated and like the foundation was like starting to, you know, the desert type of look. And I don't know if it was a combination with the new setting spray I'm trying out or if it was this. Um, but I, 
even without that setting spray, I still felt kind of dry. So I think if I get any more of these, I'm going to save them for the summer when my skin is a little more active than when it's kind of cooler weather because it was not, it was, I was not feeling that this week. The last sample is from Hey Honey. It is the Biomimetic, Biomimetic, yes, Honey Peel Cream, and it's, um, this was an interesting, you just leave it on for two to three minutes, which I really appreciated, because sometimes you just want a fast mask. This is what it kind of looks like. It's like an acid type peel. I'm going to put it on my hand and then have to go rinse it off really fast, but that's what it looks like, and you just rub it in, um, and then it gets kind of oily and smooth. I didn't feel like it felt oily at all, but... It was interesting. I've never experienced anything like this. You know, it's not like the ones where you, and they kind of pill up, you know, this one just kind of coated your face and you just kept rubbing and rubbing till it felt smooth. And then I was like, I guess I should rinse it off now. And I did, and it was fine. Um, I don't know. It was probably not one that, that I would purchase again, but it's definitely an interesting experience to use as a mask. Um, so if you're looking for something different, something short-lived, um, like you don't have to leave it on your skin for a long time, not sh not that it, you go through it quickly, um, go ahead and try this one. It's, it's unlike anything that I have ever experienced. So that is it for my samples this week. Several of them, I feel like I'm up in my game just a little bit, a um, little, little bit. Uh, let me know if you've been trying any samples. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.